So, if you're someone who really likes movies, then you must have seen this very cool Matrix title animation. And today, I'm going to show you how to make that title animation entirely in Adobe Premiere Pro. Fun fact, I have never watched The Matrix. I don't know why I don't just feel like watching it for some reason. Now, have it at the back of your mind that this original title animation was done in full 3D. So when we do it, it's not going to look exactly like what's in the real animation, but it will be very similar. Okay, enough talk. Let's get into the tutorial. So first, create a new sequence. Then create a new text layer by pressing Ctrl T and type the first letter, which is M. Then go to the Essential Graphics panel. And if you can't find it, then go to the menu, window, and essential graphics. So now once you've opened it, change the color to dark green. And change the font to a matrix font, which you can download for free on the internet. Now do the same for all the letters and also position them correctly. The letters are in different tracks so that we can animate each of them later on. Now add the drop shadow to the text layer and change the color to white and the distance to 10. Then toggle animation for the direction and go to the beginning and change it to 20. Then go forward and change it to minus 30. Then for the next letter, animate it the opposite way, which is from minus 30 to 20. Now add another drop shadow to it and change the color to a lighter green, the direction to minus 45 and the distance to 5. And now change the direction with each other between 40 and minus 45. And now it should look something like this. So when you're done with that, move forward in the timeline and toggle animation for the position of the letter. Then go to the beginning and change the position of the letter. Then right click the last keyframe and go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. Then select the first keyframe, temporal interpolation and select ease out to make the animation more smooth. Now do this for every letter but change the position of each of them. Once you're done with that, next the sequence. Then add the wave warp effect to it and change the wave type to square and the wave width to around 60. Then animate the wave height from 30 to 2. Now duplicate the next clip and add the Gaussian blur effect to the one at the bottom and change the blurriness to around 30 to give it some glow. So now create another text layer and type D. Then position it on top of the matrix text. Then copy all the effects from the other ones and add them to it and nest everything. Now all you need is to download the iconic matrix background which you can find on YouTube or from stock libraries. And once you've done all that, you'll be having this very cool title animation. Now even if it doesn't look like the original title animation, doing it in Premiere Pro is something you can be proud of. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe below and you can also drop a comment. You can also share it to other friends or audiences to make the content spread to other viewers. And also make sure to subscribe because we are almost at 300 subscribers. So please make sure to do that because I will appreciate it a lot and I will see you in the next video.